Welcome back, Sassy Soul Sisters and friends. I'm here with uh, some birthday mail from Audrey over at Odds and Ends. That's the name of her YouTube channel. And she will be tagged in the title of this video. So if you don't know her, please go check her out. She's awesome. She is one of my Sassy Soul Sisters. And I just want to say thank you so much, Audrey, for sending a gift my way. I truly appreciate it. And I am grateful for your friendship. And all we did was just open uh, the top of the box. So we've got our card. Uh, and look, it's such a cute envelope. And we have an amazing wax seal. And it's a dragonfly with like a sigil kind of behind it. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> I ripped the envelope, but that's okay. I saved the wax seal and that's what matters. <laughs> Aw, isn't that so cute? I love it. Aw. Aw, thank you so much. You are so sweet, Audrey. I am so grateful um, for our growing friendship as well. Oh, and she sent me a calendar page for my birthday, May 9th. The universe is on my side. Salt is a common tool used for purification and consecration rituals. Create your own blessed salt by holding a jar in your hands and asking that the good energies of the universe infuse it. Oh, I love that. I've been working on making my own black salt, and I think this would be perfect to do with it when I finish it up. That's awesome. Thank you. I love that. That's a great calendar, too. You'll have to tell me what the name of that calendar is. Ooh, I see a beautiful feather. I never find feathers, and... Um, I did when I was younger find them a lot and mom would never let me <laughs> touch them which used to make me so sad and now that I'm older I don't ever find any I wonder this is a large feather I wonder what it's from if it's from an owl or a hawk or because that's a fairly large feather I believe so if you know where the, what kind of bird this came from I'd love for you to share if not that's okay Oh, what do we have here? I see some shiny, shimmery stuff. Oh, neat. I don't know what this is, but it's um all this like uh like dichroic material. It feels kind of plasticky. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. And look at that purple too. I don't know what these are, but I can see myself doing all types of creative things with these pieces. Like even using them for die cuts as well. Oh, this is fun. These are so neat. I don't, <laughs> tell me, look, I'm asking you to tell me what everything is down below. I'm sorry, look at that fun piece. But this will be so fun to create with. Oh, I'm excited, lots of possibilities there. And some stickers, plus pressed flower stickers, natural flowers with a sticker backing. That is so cool, I've never seen this. Let your creativity take over with our pressed flower stickers. You can use them to create beautiful and exciting greeting cards, stationery, candles, picture frames, handmade papers, and hundreds of other craft projects like slides. That's the first thing that my mind goes to. And I wish they had a company name, unless maybe that is just the company name because I want more. And who else is noticing that these are 
shaped like butterflies. The two petals on each side, the body, the antenna. And I wonder if that was on purpose. I don't know, but I love it. Flower butterflies. That's my new thing. Oh, I see what she meant. She had a ton of envelopes to share. Oops, uh-oh. Oops, hold on guys. It fell, um, it got tossed around in the mail and um, some stuff fell and then I just dropped something on the floor and I can't see where it went. Here it is, I found it. Okay, sorry guys. I didn't want to lose it. <laughs> um, this is what she meant. So she sent a bunch of envelopes, multicolored envelopes, and um, for my paper crafting. And you have no idea, actually, this is really, really helpful because I have, um, all right, is it this one? I'm not sure. It's these ones are the ones up there that I can't reach right now. But I have card bases that, um, no, these are the ones with envelopes. I have some card bases with no envelopes. So this is perfect. I'm always in need of envelopes. Oh, she's got cards too. I thought they were all envelopes. That is perfect. Oh, yes. Thank you, thank you. I always, always in need of card bases and card envelopes for making cards. I make a ton of cards every year. So, yes, thank you so much. And look at the beautiful colors. These are awesome. Thank you, thank you. I really need that. Oh, and look at this fun piece. This looks like it maybe came from a belt and I can totally use this for trim. Uh, it looks like it could really go well in one of my boho journals. I love that. I'm so excited. I'm sorry. They came out of the little bag. So we're going to do a little bit of time here. Here's this one. Oh my goodness. It's an owl necklace. It came in this awesome black sachet. Look at him or her. I think she's a her. And she is so cute. Look at that. Covered with the gems. I love it. Thank you so much. All right. One moment, guys. I'm just grabbing. There we go. I think we got all of these. Oh, I missed another one. So we've got, oh, little moon charms. They're like little, uh, like maybe dyed mother of pearl. Oh, that's beautiful. A little yellow. Do you see the shimmer? It's like a mother of pearl. Um, oops, moon charm. And there's three of those. There's two yellows and a white. Let's see if we can see the shimmer from the Mother of Pearl. I love those. And then we've got, oh my gosh, these are the coolest brads I've ever seen. So these are brads. They have the little prongs on the back. You can poke it through material or paper. So look it. We've got a copper key with a matching copper uh, little keyhole. And this is a brad too. These are so cool. Here's another key. It's silver. And then we have a kind of like um, aged copper 
keyhole and a silver keyhole. How cool are those? Those are the coolest things I've ever seen. I've never seen any brads cooler than that. Oh, here's the aged um, color key to go with the keyhole. And then let me get this out. Okay, wow. We've got some quartz points. Look at this guy. Look at the, um, you can see here. Can you see where the other crystals were growing? The indentations from where the other crystals were growing? That is a super cool. There's an actual name for that, and I'll be honest, the name is escaping me right now. But that is so neat because this, but I've I've had a crystal that had one of those, but this has them all over. And then look on uh, right here. There's a little baby. Do you see the little baby growing on the side right here? Oh my gosh, that is so awesome! Here is another little crystal point. It's a little twin. It's a little twin. Oh. I love it. So cool. And a red jasper. I love when there's just a little bit of variega variegation in the color. We've got these two little guys, which could be red jasper too. This one has a touch of something else in it. See that? Sorry, my nails are horrible. I've been working on a project that's tore up my nail polish, but I didn't want to take the time to do my nails because I wanted, I couldn't wait to get into this box. I'll be honest. Okay, we've got three little Actually, this isn't black. Two little black tumbles could be, uh, you know, tourmaline or obsidian, any of the black stones. This one is mostly black, but it's got, does it come all through on camera? The whole end here is actually not solid black. So this could be like a black agate. Oh yes, I see the stripes in it. I'm pretty sure this is a black agate. I wish I had a flashlight or something in here so I could light it up so you could see what I'm seeing. But... It's not going to show very well. That's okay. That is cool. And then we've got these little pieces that actually um, kind of look like Apache Tears to me. You'll have to let me know down below what all of these are. But these look like Apache Tears to me. Which is interesting because, you know, yesterday I pulled a card from my crystal deck and I got the Apache tier. And last, but certainly not least, oh no, there's more. <laughs> there's more. That wasn't, this isn't the last one. Let's see. There's some more in this baggie. Oh, we have more. We have another moon. And then we have another quartz point. These are definitely super interesting little quartz babies. And we have a, a pre-night with epidote heart. Look at that, a little pre-night with epidote. I love that, thank you. And 
one of my very most favorite crystals is a moss agate and look how gorgeous this one is so beautiful I love that so much. I can just stare at crystals all night, I'll be honest. Let me stop <laughs> before I keep y'all too long. Well, thank you so much, Audrey. I truly, truly appreciate this so much. You didn't have to send anything, but I love everything you sent. Um, comment down below, Audrey, and let me know what some of these things actually are called. But, um, and if this is Apache tier, I'm curious about that. And I'm not sure what this is called, but I can't wait to play with it. And, uh, oh, yeah. The other thing was if you knew where this, what kind of bird this feather came from. But thank you so much. And thank you all for stopping by and spending a few minutes with me. And I hope that you all have a magical night. Bye.